hey you guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl tamara on the go again now you guys um today what i will be talking about is cuba now if you have not been or you're thinking about heading to cuba i think there are some things that you really need to know before you hop on a plane and say hey you know what guess what i'm going on a vacation to cuba no the first thing is that you need to think about you know what you're going there for if it's just vacation or other purposes what is there, your real reason to be heading to cuba now once you have figured that out then you need to be looking at do i require a visa so for a lot of countries um you may require a visa to enter into cuba and what i think you should do is find out whether or not your country is on that list that requires a visa if you do require a visa i would suggest that you get it at your port of departure rather than um, your port of entry because it may just turn out to be a little bit less expensive for you to get it on your departure rather than when you get to Cuba in itself. Now, with that said, you figured out your passport, figured out your visa requirements. Now you are on your way to planning your vacation, your trip or whatever it is that you're going to Cuba to do. The second thing you want to make sure of is that you know where you're going to stay. Where will I be staying? Am I going to be staying in Central Havana? Am I going to be going on the outskirts of Cuba? Where will I be staying? So look for your hotels that you would want to stay and look at what they offer. What are they offering? Do they offer a meal plan with breakfast, lunch, dinner? Do they offer a meal plan with breakfast and dinner depending on what you're looking for or you're just looking for a hotel stay? No, personally, I would suggest that yes, you can find somewhere that offers breakfast and dinner or breakfast and lunch. However, please get an idea of what the menu is like because if you have dietary restrictions if you have things that you you know food aversion things that you really don't like so find out whether or not these things are part of the entire meal offering breakfast lunch and dinner if you are allergic to things like eggs if you don't eat pork you know those kind of things you really want to know what's on the menu before you up into yes i am paying for a what we call an all-inclusive plan where you get breakfast lunch and dinner or you're paying for you know half board where you get one or the other right so make sure that there are things there that you will want to eat and are not allergic to at all because that can be a problem i'm not sure if you will get a refund if there are things there that you just don't eat i really don't think so but you can uh, figure that part out before you actually make your way into the country now if you're somebody who eats out regularly um, on vacations then you may just want to book a hotel that you you just have your room and you can get your breakfast lunch and dinner on the road All right, now the third thing, you need to know some things in Spanish. Y'all, listen, if you don't know certain simple things in Spanish, and yes, I know we'll get to the translation app, but guess what? The translation app can be pretty annoying. Because if you're there, if you're thinking of staying in a country that speak just pure Spanish for a week or so, it can become very annoying to constantly be using a translation app. So get to know certain things like what is the cost 
um, get to know things on the men eggs just in case you may be allergic as I said to certain things find out you know directions in Spanish those little simple things it goes a far way you know good morning good afternoon how are you doing those kind of things fine thank you in Spanish because it makes things a little bit easier if you're asking for the cost if you're asking um you know for the menu it makes it so much easier for you so look for those things in your app your spanish app and uh, know those things by heart you don't have to know everything but learn the basics because to be honest as i said the app can be pretty annoying and i've learned that firsthand so <laughs> i'm telling you this all right so get to know certain things offhand so you know it off the bat make sure you know whether or not your cellular service works there if you can roam there because I realize that there is an issue with roaming so perhaps you you can consider budgeting to purchase a sim card when you get to the country or you can figure out if your country sim card can roam in Cuba because that can be a real issue if you're somewhere and you really need to use your phone and it's not picking up any service you can't get whatsapp so the other things that i would want to suggest is know the dollar value and when i say know the dollar value you yes you can know the exchange rate but also know what may be the range value for the cost um, as it relates to purchasing things whether it be for taxi fare bus fare tours shopping find out what may be the range of value because if you don't you will be paying uh, quite a bit and your exchange the whatever um, currency you're using and I've exchanged it you might find that will dwindle down quite quickly somehow paying more than you should be for the things that you're purchasing travel with snacks healthy snacks some snacks any snacks snacks that you like because if the the fact is that they make a lot of things in in the country so it may be something that you're not used to or may have not eaten before and you may not want to try or you may not like it so you will want to walk with some snacks that will last you no what you also want to do is to plan your itinerary what will you be doing on a daily basis until you have departed right the other thing is that wherever it is that you're staying get an idea of you know the type of tours that you will want to do do they offer these through the hotel or will you have to purchase this on site or off site from the hotel itself because that can be a situation where you end up paying more as well so find out what tours you would be interested in whether it be bike tours whether it be you know around town tours vintage car tours whatever tour it is that you're interested in find out if these are offered through the hotel or if you can purchase it beforehand because sometimes you may end up paying more than you should for these tours um, so find these things out find out what the cost may be because really and truly you want to make sure that you get value for the money and you don't end up spending blindly um, not realizing that you're spending spending more so when you plan your itinerary it gives you an opportunity to know how much money you will need to spend and then you can work with the same taxi or the same driver service that you have been using from day one because to be honest you may use one taxi today and you get a price and you use another taxi tomorrow and you get a different price so if you already have planned your itinerary you will be able to know what you're going to do and perhaps the taxi that you will be using on a daily basis will give you one overall figure for the time that you're there to take you to and from wherever it is that you are going if you're going sightseeing taxis sometimes can do that as well too and you may not have to pay a tour guide or go on a tour bus or do a 
tour with a company you can always if you have like for instance a taxi that you have already um, booked for picking up at the airport to drop you at your hotel and to drop you back to the airport then perhaps you can work something out Now, as I had mentioned before, that, you know, you want to make sure that you are aware of the currency difference, difference in currency value, so you have better purchasing power. So, you guys, you don't want to overspend especially if you are working with a budget so what you need to do is to make sure that you are aware of the dollar value as in what the certain things cost so you don't end up spending all the cuban pesos that you have actually changed out your currency to and then need to change additional currency in the country because if you do that you're going to end up paying more so it would have been good to change whatever amount you want to use from the beginning rather than to constantly be going back to change more and more money to the currency that they use Now, one of the thing is that they don't really use a lot of US dollars in the country. So you want to make sure that you're aware of that. And Once again, you guys, thank you so much for joining me for another video. I hope you will enjoy this one. Please remember to hit the notification bell. If you have not yet subscribed, please remember to subscribe, leave a thumbs up and a comment below. And I hope that this will help you to be encouraged to travel. And I hope that my tips will allow you to plan for your next trip if you are heading to Cuba. I love you guys for sharing, liking and subscribing. God bless you all. And I will see you all in the next one.